Okay, so first off, I'm wearing sunglasses inside because I just got out of the shower and I don't have makeup on and I don't know why, but this lovely camera right here makes me look like I'm like exhausted and have like crazy ass bags underneath my eyes if I don't have makeup on, so we're just gonna wear sunglasses and pretend I do have makeup on and I'm just weird and like to wear sunglasses inside my house at night because it's 10 o'clock at night right now but first things first yesterday my most lovely possession in the whole wide world got alcohol poured on him and now I'm very sad because he smells like alcohol and I don't want to wash him because then he won't be as soft but he's not soft right here anymore he's just crunchy and icky so I will end up washing him and it makes me sad because I feel like I'm washing memories away I don't like to wash memories away from my stuffed animals second I am wearing my ex-boyfriend's flannel and I wear it way too often mostly because it's easy to put on and it hides this from my mother because she doesn't know I have it um my hair is still pink I have not dyed it for anyone who keeps thinking I do because all my coworkers are like every day did you do something different with your hair? No. No, I did not. The, oh, it, it looks redone. It looks brighter. Uh, no. No, it does not. It's probably fading. And then you can see the white in my bangs and underneath. Because I never re that at all. But, yeah. So, no, my hair did not change for anyone else who is thinking that. If it's anyone in the interwebs. Um, okay, so I think that's most of my updates. It's St. Patrick's Day still, so happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm not wearing green. Well, technically, technically I am. I, for some reason, have this green rubber band on my wrist at all times. And this all green candy. And my bra strap to my tan bra <laughs> is green. Because I lost the bra straps to it somehow. So, I guess technically I am, you just can't really see it. But, yeah. So, there's that part. Secondly, most people in society recently, or not recently, but more and more often, are saying they give up on love, they don't believe in love, they've been hurt so many times that they can't see past it. They can't see past being ever hurt again. And, yeah. So, I just want to say that I really hope you guys can at least try to see that it'll get better. Because without love, no one would really have anything to fight for. Because most people fight for the ones they love. Or to be with somebody that they love or at least they have to love themselves if you don't believe in love you can't love yourself you can't love others you can't feel love and it's a really important thing um it scares me kinda cause at the same time I know that I'm terrified that I just won't ever meet anybody anymore and I'll just be a single person for the rest of my life. I feel really strange with these sunglasses on, by the way. Um, but I feel like I'm just going to be single my entire life. Because right now, I'm still working. And I don't go to college this semester. Which I slightly regret. Because, I mean, I don't regret it because I love spending time at work. And I like getting money. But I regret it because then I don't, um, I don't have anything to do or anybody to meet except for the people I've already met at my work who are all older than me either by 
one year or by multiple years. But either way, I am terrified that if I stay in this town that I live in for much longer, I will never meet anybody. And I will stay single because nobody in this town likes weirdos like me. Or at least I haven't met anybody. So that's one of my biggest fears. Yet, no matter what, I will continue to promote that no one should ever give up on love. Because at one point or another, there's always been someone that has loved you. And even if you don't think so, you've probably loved somebody at some point back. Because I know for a fact I have loved somebody and I've never given up on that. And that feeling has never gone away. So I know what it is like to actually love someone. So I think, I think the fact that I have probably been in love doesn't change, doesn't let me change my mind and think that it doesn't exist. It just makes me feel like I will be the one loving people, but no one else will love me, maybe. I'm also afraid that I will just stop loving people. But I don't think that'll happen because I get attached to people really easily, and I don't like, I don't like losing people. But yeah, I just, I kind of also hope that society doesn't give up on love because if everybody gave up on love, nobody would be loved, and without people being loved, everyone would be sad. I don't like sad people. It makes me sad if you see people sad. So yeah, that's kind of just what I wanted to say. I know. I know a lot of things look down and getting hurt over and over and over and over and over and over again isn't fun. I've been through it. I've been hurt multiple, multiple, multiple times to the point where I have the worst trust issues ever with most people. I'll tell you multiple things, but then you'll hit this wall and you'll be so used to hearing all this stuff and then you'll just hit this wall that you'll think I just stopped trusting you. But the thing is, I have a level of trust, and it just stops instantly. So to get past that is really hard. And I used to be able to tell anybody all this stuff, and now it's like I can't talk to anybody about it. But that's a whole different thing. Um. Yeah, anyways, don't, don't give up. Don't let one person or seven people or 20 people make you think that someone else can't love you and someone else will treat you just as badly as the other people have before because there will always be one person out there at least that is willing to do whatever it takes to show you that they love you and they will not hurt you I know for a fact that I would never hurt the people I love at least not hopefully I wouldn't try to there's a good chance in my fucked up life that I have done damage to other people I never meant to I've never cheated on anybody. Never just been like, okay, well, I'm with you. But I, uh, I like this person. This other person over here. They're kind of cute looking. So I'm going to go kiss them, hook up with them, do something with them. And then, yeah, I'm done with them. Now I'm going to come back to you. I don't, I do my best not to hurt people. Because I know what it's like to be hurt. And a lot of people have. So, a lot of people that have been hurt try not to hurt other people like they've been hurt. So, also keep that in mind. There's always going to be someone wanting to love you. But you have to believe in love to accept love. So, yeah. Don't give up on it. Because if you do, you're just going to push everyone away who does love you. And then maybe you will continue to believe it because... You'll just keep pushing them away, making sure that you are right. And that's not something you want to be right about. You want to be wrong. You want to believe that you really will be loved and happiness will come to you. It's a hard thing to believe after a while. And it's a trial and risk error with more risks than not. But, hey, if I can do it, I believe you can do it too. And if you ever want advice on anything, I kind of need to more know a certain amount of the situation. But I'm pretty good at advice on stuff like that for some weird reason. I'm very good at figuring out people and reading people. Even just by like 
telling me about somebody. I can usually okay. tell you. If they're... So my computer just decided to have a random pop-up that shut my camera off. So we're going to continue. Because I have no idea how that other video ended. But if I go, oh, uh, that would be the random pop-up that like blocked my entire screen. So yeah, love, la di da di da, love, love, love. Don't give up on it, cause you know there's always gonna be someone trying, whether it's me or anybody else in this world. I promise you, someone's gonna want to try and help you, love you, care for you, even if. It, you have to believe in love to have even friendships. So, unless you want to be alone forever, which I'm pretty sure most people don't want that. If you do, go for it. it sounds like a very sad life, but uh, hey, that's just because I don't like to be alone. So, yeah. I wish you all the best of luck in every single relationship you have. I promise you they're not all going to go okay. There's going to be one that's horrible. There's going to be your first absolutely real love. And your heart's going to be broken for a really long time. There will be ones where you will always have feelings for that one person no matter what. Not feelings of that you have to get back together with them. But you will just always forever care about them because they meant so much to you. There will be all these different kinds of heartbreaks, loves, feelings that you will have for each and every person that you meet. There's also going to be hatred. You may hate the person that you dated and regret every second of it. Hopefully not, but very likely. Um, so, I wish you all luck and all that. If you ever have any questions, you can contact me. I usually put all the ways you can contact me, which are all pretty much apps on the iPhone. So if you don't have an iPhone, Android, or smartphone, which aren't too smart, <laughs> um, you you can email me I guess I have Google Voice most people don't know what that is but it's pretty much a number that you can text or call that will pop up um, on my phone so I pretty much can text you back from that it's not my real number it's just a number that you could use to contact me so that works um, if you already use that I appreciate knowing who I'm talking to because, you know, just getting a random hey from a complete stranger. A little strange. So, if you have, uh, I don't know. Tell me your name. Tell me something about you. Don't just say hey. Just be like, hey, I saw you on YouTube. And my name is this. I would like to get to know you. I just wanted to stop by and say, hey, my name is this. I saw you on YouTube. I saw you on Instagram. I saw you on Tumblr. I saw you on whatever, wherever. la di da di da you found my magical number. Because to just get hey, I'm going to be like, uh, hi, I don't know who you are. I don't know where you came from. I don't know how you got this number. I like to know where the people are finding me. So yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you all have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. If yours is not over because at my point it is 10 o'clock. Meaning on the East Coast. And the all the other coasts except for the West Coast. It is probably not... St. Patrick's Day anymore. Hope none of you got pinched. Hope you all have fun sleeping. If you are from a different country, hey. Because I love to know about all my people from different countries too. Especially Argentina. Because I'm Argentinian and Italian. So those two, for some odd reason, Anyone from Argentina or Italian, I know I have Argentinian followers, but if anyone from Italy and anywhere else, <laughs> I appreciate you. I appreciate all your followers and stuff. It's pretty cool to know that somehow I have made it around the world virtually. I do that a lot if you haven't noticed, by the way. Um, yeah. I think that's it. Even though, you know, I think I've said that like 20 times and it hasn't been it.
but yeah I'm on Tumblr like a crazy maniac I'm on Instagram a little bit more than I was before I work all the time until 4.30 in California and so I don't really have time to take pictures if I do I'm usually working the front office so I'll just secretly go it's like alright hey guys this is what I'm doing working in the thing or how was your day happy Monday happy la da da that's usually how that goes I used to take more pretty cool pictures my camera died don't do that too much no more cause I have to get it fixed and I don't really have the time if I do end up taking the pictures it's usually cause I'm home for the like three hours that I have before I'm not home for another like four months so yeah that's also why it takes me so long to make these videos because I'm never home except to sleep which I should be doing soon cause I have work in the morning at 8 o'clock and I don't like to get up early so I will say farewell good day good night good St. Patrick's Day anything else and yeah bye let me introduce myself I'm all smiles you may know me as a former most love only lasts a while so realistic, you get the picture I met you, now my world is so